What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another Sell with Manuel vlog. It's Monday, it's my favorite day of the week. I'm excited, I'm pumped because this week we are taking the newest listing live. We're taking it to market. We built anticipation. We are headed right now uh, to the listing to flyer drop around the community. If you saw, I think it was like two or three videos ago where I always flyer if we have a listing, if we have a coming soon, if we have a just sold, um, even if you're just introducing yourself as an agent to the community. So right now we're gonna go flyer drop and the flyer says just listed and we have the open house dates that we uh, that we'll be doing the open house which is the first weekend it's the most important weekend because it gives us a good temperature of the market we're headed over there I have a helper today hi say hi what's your name Diego you ready you ready to go yeah you ready to get paid yeah oh wait am I paying you yeah am I really how much am I paying you I think you owe me 40 so you should owe me another 40 oh I own 40 bucks from the last flyer drop. So anyways, if you have a little helper like that, pay him 40 bucks. Make it worth your while. You can fly her in double the time. So it's Monday. Uh, we're going to go do that. And then we're, we're heading back to the home office. Going to be working from home today. So let's go. <laughs> This is, this is definitely in their price range, but we got him a better house. Oh. Cooler house. Is it, where is it? It's in, um, it's in Otay Ranch. Oh. All right, let's go. So we just got here to the new listing. Like I said last time, we always flyer the community. It's cold, huh? Yeah. Nice and chilly out here. Oh shit, I forgot the keys. Can you grab the flyers? Right there. Right there. This is the uh, ready to go. For sale sign, we're out here in a small community called uh, Windjammer in Chula Vista. This is 302 Windjammer Circle 91910. Super nice property. It's on the smaller end, so too bad um two bath 975 square feet and we have it priced at 649 so it's right there in the sweet spot looks like someone left us a flyer which is exactly what we're gonna do today we're gonna flyer the community i'm gonna go over also kind of you know what goes into listing a property from getting a coming soon campaign to I'll show you guys what the flyer looks like. So there it is. Just listed open house highlights, my contact info, some pictures, and then of course, why sell with Manuel. 100% sold listing in 2021, no obligation contract, least amount of stress and guaranteed results is what we do. <laughs> Okay, so typically whenever I list a property, I do everything with a purpose. Um, I think it's important and um, both as an agent and as a home seller that everything is done calculated when it comes to listing a home. I think even though we're in a super hot, hot market, um, I know there's a lot of agents and I've seen it and it actually really surprises me that a lot of these agents and top agents um, are just listing properties, throwing it on the MLS, no marketing whatsoever, um, even to the point of no professional pictures whatsoever. It's just pictures taken literally with their with their iPhone, which, you know, and it's I think it's a disservice to the seller, to your client, and more than anything, I think it's leaving money on the table um, because when it comes to listing a property, there there's so much that goes into it. 
Um, at least in my part, I don't care how hot the market is. I go all out when it comes to listing a property from, um, depending on where, what market you're in, but here in San Diego at least, uh, we have coming soon on the MLS. So what that means is you are able to list a property as a coming soon, uh, basically putting it out there, uh, letting everyone know that uh, this home will be coming to market now. Um, even as a coming soon, it does burn market days, um, but it actually doesn't reflect once it goes live. So uh, anyway, so that's one of the key features that we do have now. Coming soon allows us to build anticipation for the listing. What does that mean? Well, it means that we could do sneak peeks, we can do trailers, um, and this is typically what I do. I film a video, I do professional photography. I don't care you know, what price the listing is. I don't care how hot the market is. I don't care if I have 20 people interested. I still go all out. And what that means is filming a professional video, taking professional photography, putting up a for sale sign, flyering the community like we did today, um, both as a coming soon, as a just listed uh, open house dates, which is also an important part of listing a property open houses um even though i think a lot of agents aren't doing them because the market is so hot and the market and, and the property go, just goes into escrow before even getting to the open house i still think it's important to give it the right exposure so um the way i typically do it every time i go into a, a listing presentation into a pitch i always tell them that there's a process to this whole uh home selling um, and it's important that they understand the process because then that's when the fun really happens. Um, it starts off with building campaigns around who the property is directed to. So what I mean by that is, okay, we're like this property right behind me. It's a two bedroom, two bath, single story, single level home. So, um, okay, who is this directed to? So it's a smaller end. It might be directed to empty nesters or to a starting family, you know, newlyweds that are looking or have one child or are looking to start up a family. So, um, so we direct this uh, listing towards them. What I mean by that is from the video creation, from the music that we input, um, we're close to the freeway here, we're close to a mall and we're close to a school, which also goes a long way when listing a property. Um, but I think it's really important to, to really know who your audience is gonna be. And the process goes this way. It's like whenever the, the pitch, I talk to the client, I tell them what we're gonna do. Um, and then I put it on a coming soon, as I mentioned, uh, on the MLS is a coming soon. Now, when it is on a coming soon campaign, it means one, I'm not giving away the price. Two, I'm not giving away the location uh, unless they ask for it or uh, unless a, another agent asks for it. And three, I try not to show the whole property. What I mean by that is I'll take uh, the photography and I'll, I'll kind of do like a more artistic side to photography. So I'll maybe just take a picture of the kitchen and promote it on social media. Or maybe I'll just take the picture of the for sale sign out front, let everyone know that it's in Chula Vista um, and I'll put it on social media. So it builds anticipation. It builds the curiosity for buyers out there that are like, huh, I want to know about that property. I know where that's located. When I say Windjammer, and a lot of local people know where that is. So uh, it just builds curiosity and that builds anticipation. Meaning when I do bring it to market and actually show the whole video, um, everyone will want to come and see it. And that's really our goal. The more people we get through the door, the, the more offers we're going to get, the higher price offers we're going to get. And I think that's super important as an agent and as a service to my clients. So. Um, like I said, we do the video, the photography, the flyering, and then once we do that, once we take it live, we'll do the open house. And now when it comes to the open house, I don't just put out one or two signs and just sit there and just wait for people to come through. I go all out from video promotion of telling everyone on social media where I'm holding the open house. Um, if I'll have mimosas, if I'll have donuts, if I'll have drinks, if I'll have food out, I'll also do that as well. And I put out at least a minimum of 10 open house signs. Um, like I said, I go all out, I set up my table with uh, flyers, um, I set up my banner up, up top, um, and that's super important because it just shows, it just goes to show you that both you, the client, and everyone walking through the door that you're a professional agent. And, and it doesn't mean that open houses has to be your listing. I do open houses from other agents all the time. And it's a way for me to go out and find buyers out in the market who are 
uh, actively uh, looking for a property that are maybe not working with an agent or are looking to buy down the road. So I think it's important to get out there. One, you get the temperature of, you know, the market, see what people are concerned about, see what they're looking for, see um, kind of what kind of questions you, you're, they're, they're having because sometimes stuck in the office and just writing emails and no response and posting on social media, you don't really know what the market is, uh, you know, the, the, the people uh, or the buyers out there are really asking or even sellers kind of what their agenda is when it comes to their home sale and what they're looking for, what um, everyone has different real estate goals. So I think it's important to discuss that as well when it comes to the listing. Um, so that's one of the most important things uh, and like I said, these videos that I, that I put together, it's, uh, I'm trying to build apart from anticipation and more of an emotion trying to sell a lifestyle. Um, and it goes from selling a house to selling a home. And I think, um, that's one of the key features that sets us, uh, sets me and my team apart from other agents that we really, really put in all the work. We're there 24 seven and uh, we're professional agents that are out working every single day. So right now we have the for sale sign and I'll actually, since I'm here, let me show you the video that I filmed for this property. Check it out. What you guys think of that property? It's pretty cool, huh? So uh, that's kind of a sneak peek. That's kind of like the type of videos that I like doing. Um, I show them to my clients. They end up loving it, which goes a long way. And more than anything, it's it's being a professional. You know, it's it's them referring you to their clients or to their friends and family and telling them, hey, you should use my agent. My agent did this and this and this for me. And I'm telling you guys, don't be that agent that just goes out there, gets a listing, and just takes pictures with their with their iPhone and just throws down the MLS, knowing that it will sell because it will. We're in the market where these homes are selling. They're just selling no matter kind of what they do. But I feel, I truly, truly feel that that you guys are leaving money on the table, and um, and that's a disservice to your clients. So you really have to go all out. Um, hopefully, you guys got a little bit of value from this video it's kind of it's monday we're out flying i think we just wrapped up so we did 200 flyers and we had i think we overdid it i think we have like like what like 10 15 20 flyers left so we'll probably jump to the uh the next neighborhood and drop those off every time i have leftovers we always go to the next neighborhood and uh, drop them off but anyways hopefully you got a little bit of value from this video if you did hit the like hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.